Hi, uh, welcome to our new term. Um, in this video, I'll show you how to get to uh, my lab so that you can uh, read the book, watch the uh, instructional videos and do your homework, etc. All right, so first of all, what you do is you get on Canvas, um, which is our learning management system, and everything will start from Canvas, okay? So one of the things that people will be, uh, usually ask me about is uh, where's the course ID number? Nope, we don't use the course ID number. We log in straight from Canvas. So here you are on Canvas. What, um, if you log on to Canvas, this is the home page. Um, one of the steps you need to do is to, to log into my lab. So you, first you click on my lab and mastering right here. And you come up to this page, you're still on Canvas. Uh, you need to click this big yellow button to be on, um, on my lab. So you click on that. What happens is um, it opens a new tab up here. And you have um, this page that has blah, blah, blah. And I just accept it. I don't know why it's blank right there, but you know, I click, I accept. Then you'll go to a page where you sign into Pearson. So either you have had a Pearson account before, if you had a, a different MyLab uh, course. So for example, if you've taken a Spanish class before that uses the Pearson um, text, textbook, then you have a uh, My Smart Spanish lab. You may have taken a bio class, you have My Bio lab, uh, an algebra class, you have My Math lab, etc. So if you have a, um, <clears throat> an existing Pearson account, then you type it in here, username and password. If you don't, um, just create a new one. If you forgot username and password, obviously this is where you usually do it. All right, so I already have one. Um, so I'm gonna sign into that. Then the first thing it comes up is this page. So if you already bought the access code at the bookstore, then you click on access code here to enter it. Okay. If you want to buy it now, there are two choices. One choice is to buy the access code with the uh, physical book, like with, uh, with the textbook. Okay. Um, um, oh, I'm sorry. This one is not for the physical textbook, but this one lasts basically lasts forever for life of the edition. So you pay 105, you have it until the, the edition changes. We're now on the 13th edition. Um, most people would go for the second box right here. Okay, it has 18 week access, which is plenty for our class. Okay, um, it comes with the e-text. You don't need, uh, you don't get the physical textbook, but you get the e-text and for most people that's just as good. But what I recommend is down here, it's not prominently displayed, but down here you have the blue line that says get temporary access without payment for 14 days. So you get to use my lab for 14 days. Uh, at the end of the 14 days, if you're still in the class, you can then enter the access code or you can then pay the 69.95, okay? So even if you already bought the access code, <laughs> Excuse me, even if you already bought the access code, I would recommend that you click on the 14 day free trial. Just in case later on you decide you don't want to stay in the class, you drop, you still have the access code, it's still brand new, you can use that next semester. All right, so click on temporary access for 14 days. Are you sure? I say yes. Then it does the processing and I'm in my lab. All right, once you're in the course, this is what the screen looks like, <clears throat> okay? Um, the class is Math 160 in the session 2020. And on the left of the menu board, this, now we're now no longer in Canvas, we're now in my lab. Uh, all right, um, and you have all of these things on the left, <clears throat> and you can sort of tell what they are. Right, eText gives you uh, the eText for our book. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it has multimedia contents and it has fancy uh, graphics and everything. Okay, even animation and such. And 
uh, if you just want to go to go straight to the videos, instructional videos and the animation, etc., you click on multimedia library, you click on the chapter and section you want. Chapter one, section 1.1, 1 .1. select all. And it gives you all the different um, exercise videos. That's the um, uh, video related to the exercise, to the exercise problems, the multimedia textbook. That's usually where I'd say you should go, right? Um, if you want a little bit quicker, shorter presentation, go to the PowerPoint. Uh, if you want to see the video of um, other people teaching this section, click on the section videos. Um, and there are other like short clips. These short clips you actually can see directly from the multimedia textbook. That's why I sort of say go for the multimedia textbook, which is under e-text, okay? Um, or you can go to chapter contents, particular chapter, chapter one, section 1 1.1, and it has all of these different links to different me media you could use. Right. Um, next down on the um, um, on the menu is HTML ebook, and this is the one that I would use if um, if you are the type that can actually read a book in, instead of watching the, the video, if you prefer that. Um, and also, if you are in some place where the internet is kind of slow and loading multimedia takes a long time, then go to the HTML, it's plain text. There's no, um, so, open the alternative version of your ebook. So this plain text, there's no fancy media, so it loads really fast. You do have to click a couple times though. Um, yeah, it, it, it loads really fast, but there's nothing fancy, okay? Um, it looks just like a page of text. So here's a page and it got text. It's just like your, um, your paper textbook page is just flat text and flat pictures, okay? Um, no videos, no animation, nothing fancy, right? So those are the different places you could go to access course material. All right, other than that, I would say stay in Canvas, okay? All the assignments are on Canvas. You click on assignments, And you have assignments and you can have it sorted by, um, by date, which is what's coming up, what's due next, or you sort it by type. You show it by type, it organized into groups that corresponds to groups in the, um, in the syllabus and in the grading system. So you can also see that all, both of these things account for 2% of your total grade, uh, discussion board 10%, et cetera. Okay, so you can have it sorted by type or sorted by date. Talk about sorting by date, you even, don't even need to go here for that. If you click on the home page, you land on the syllabus uh, section. And first of all, um, by the way, one of the first day requirement is to read the syllabus. So read through all these 15 pages, but below that, so once you've read the syllabus, you only need to do it once. Um, for the rest of the term, you're going to be doing your homework and your homework is listed down here in chronological order. So in order of due date. So everything's on here. If you land on the homepage every day, then you'll get it done. Um, it should also say on the left over here under to do what to do next. Anything you have, anything you're supposed to do, but you haven't done um, is here. Okay. So just do it all over here on the right hand side. All right, so that's the quick summary, okay? Go on Canvas for basically everything, <clears throat> except that while you're learning, reading the book, having anything to do with the textbook, then click on My Lab and Mastering. Everything having to do with textbook, click on My Lab and Mastering, click on Open My Lab and Mastering. Um, you need to do that 14 day free trial, click on just once. Um, 
every time after that, it'll go directly to my lab. It'll open up in a new tab. And, you know, you go to those different places for uh, the material. All right, hope that helps. I will see you online often. Bye.